Welcome again Aquarius, it's August 2013, Daditi here with your monthly synopsis. You've got a cluster of planets in the 6th house. 6th house has uh, relevance astrologically to such things as your workplace, your daily work routine, but also your health. And uh, there's a, a bit of a challenging aspect from Uranus to this configuration of planets right now. And that can show a high-strung nature. And if you've got a lot of planets there in this area, it can also show maybe work which is, is, is being um, diversified. In other words, you may be having to do a lot of things right now, a lot of hats, or maybe a lot of bandanas, <laughs> like me. In any case, <coughs> you're probably doing the work of a few people right now. That's not sitting well with you in some ways because you realise you're not actually doing the work to, the, to your full capacity and to the level that you know you could if you just did one of those pieces of work exclusively with focus. Now, the, the real uh, intensification and spotlight on this stuff happens around the 3rd, 4th, 5th, up until the 6th when the moon is in conjunction during its transit in this area of your horoscope. You do need to take care of your health at that time. Ruler of the 6th house for you, moon, moving into this area of the zodiac. Uh, so what I would say is that many of you are overworking right now, and this could be a real uh, trigger point for latent diseases to, to come out. So especially around that time, I'd be saying that you should put two or three of those components of your work to the side. Focus exclusively on one. In the time leading up to those dates, maybe talk to your employer, your co-workers, and say, hey, can we just maybe earmark those for a later date so I can focus on this one component? And I think that will help you bypass some of these stresses that are going to impact upon your, your bodily health and your well-being during this period. Negotiations are far better served after the 8th when Mercury moves to the 7th house. This is a time when you can actually talk about these things. If you need to renegotiate your contract, that's a good time to do it. You're also more popular with the general public at this time. So it's not a good time to be locking yourself away. That's why I'm a little bit worried. If you undermine your health at that time and have to lay low, then you're going to miss, especially in the first few days of this Mercury transit, the opportunity to really connect and network with a lot of new people. Venus moves to your ninth house. Ninth house is actually the house of luck. Uh, and that's not known to many astrologers. And it's also the sector of your past karma. So Venus generally being a beneficial planet is very lucky in bringing to you the fruits of your past action. It's going to be there for some weeks. So you can expect some good results there based upon the hard work that you've put in over the last year or two. This could be a specific window opportunity where good luck and uh, fortune smile upon you. We see some other aspects there towards the end of the month, the transit of Mercury to the 8th house. This is a spiritual um, element. It's also one in which your partner may undermine you in some way. Now, they may not purposely want to do this. It could just be something inadvertent or completely... Um, I suppose, innocent on their part. But if you react too strongly, this can set up a real sort of crisis point for you around the 28th when Mars moves into this zone of marriage, significant partnerships and relationships. So it's important to transition into that transit. You've got around six days, sorry, four days between the 24th and the 28th to communicate your feelings clearly if you feel that someone has done you an injustice. Ask them questions. Find out what was the reasoning behind why they did what they did. Look forward to your company next month. I'm Daditi, as I said earlier, from astrology.com.au. For a more detailed analysis of the month, the year, and even the daily readings, please join me there. Until next month, take care. Bye-bye.